lap at Jerez, it's important to open up the final corner before it brings you onto the start finish straight the best you can. You need all the speed you can before the run up the hill towards turn one. It climbs quite steeply, you feel good compression in the car before feeding the car into the right. The car goes light on the exit and it's easy to overdo that one. Into turn two, hug the inside nice and tight and sacrifice the exit to open up turn three the best you possibly can. The track winds its way round turn four, hugging the inside before flat out round the right hand curve of turn five and again into turn six, another fast right hander, feed the car to the right hand side before the S's, the left and the right, brings you on to the back straight down towards turn nine. A hairpin 180 degrees, brake as late as you can and use all of the track on the exit before winding the car back to the right hand side for this flat out left hand kink of turn ten. Keep the car on the right hand side before turn 11, another fast left hander. Feel the g-force build up on your body and then get the car back over to the left hand side to open up the next right hander of turn 12 and then into turn 13. Easy to overdo it on the exit this one as well, the gravel trap's waiting for you there on the exit. A fast right hander follows that one as well, keep it flat out into turn 15, the bravest corner of them all before you bring the car back to the right hand side and break in a nice straight line. You don't want to upset the rear of the car as you turn into the final corner on the track and don't use too much curb as well on the exit, and that's the lap at Jerez.